In just 45 minutes, I earned $1,147 in Red Dead Online. It was a double payout, but even with regular payout, I would earn $573.5 for 45 minutes, which equals to $765 per hour. And that's a lot, because for comparison, by grinding strange emissions, basically by doing something that game tells you to, you will earn less than $100 per hour. But the most importantly, you can grind this way from the very first levels you don't even need to have a collector role to start plus by combining it with moonshiner or trader role you will earn much more anyway let's take a look at this money making method and first of all you need to know how much time you can spend in red dead online this day because the more time you have the more money you will earn per hour this 765 dollars is a minimum amount that you can count on if you have around one hour or less of free time I also tested methods for players who have between one and a half and two hours of a free time and for players who can grind for more than two hours. Last one is obviously the most profitable. But let's begin with the first method because I guess for most Red Dead Online players grinding between 45 and 60 minutes per day will be more than enough. Now what you need to do is to go to Red Dead Online collector's map, link will be in the description and here you will see all the collectible items in the game. But we don't need all the items that's why we're choosing hide all option and then manually choosing tarot cards pentacles and tarot cards swords and that's because these two collections are relatively expensive you see 286.5 dollars for a full set for all 14 items but you might say why we not choosing something more expensive like coins for example take a look 540 dollars and that's because some collections are guaranteed there is no random in them they are marked with gray and white if you choose them and so what it means if i will go here i will find seven of swords always there will be seven of swords obviously each day the location is changing but you know if the map shows you seven of swords here you will find it but with random collections is different if, if i will go here i will only find some random coin it could be any coin and they all have different probabilities so the lowest probability is two percent so only one time out of 50 times you will find the specific uh, you know this rare coin so what it means is that even if i will go through all the coin spots it's not guaranteed that i will get a full set i will probably not get a full set in a few runs actually and if you are extremely unlucky it might take days and even weeks to get a, at least one full set and that's why it's better choice to focus on guaranteed sets especially when there are double payouts and also tarot cards are super easy to find they pretty much always will be in some buildings and you don't need any tools to collect them and that's why it's a good method even for beginners for players who don't have a collector role yet anyway when we have these two sets uh, marked we go down all the way down and here we choose where to start our road usually i choose southeast and just begin from tumbleweed oh by the way before we gonna start uh, just change default to detailed here so this way the map will look pretty much like the map in your game and then we choosing generate road you see now we have a road like literally to go from point a to point b then to point c and so on by pressing keys l and j you move into the next step or to the previous step and by the way when you see such line it means that we should make a fast travel and by the way always like rethink the information that map shows you like for example here it's really obvious that it's gonna be faster to go back to tumbleweed and fast travel from there rather than you know riding to armadillo and fast travel only from armadillo it's just gonna be much faster anyway i completed such run focusing only on two guaranteed tarot card sets multiple times and on average it took 45 minutes and profit without double payout was 573.5 dollars and with double payout was 1147 dollars and when there are double payouts for collector roll which happens once 
once or twice per year and you don't have much time this strategy is the best just focus on two guaranteed sets however without double payout there is an improved strategy that grants you higher profit per hour but takes like 10 minutes longer on average now for this strategy what you need to do is to go to settings and here you will see tool type and if you don't have any tools maybe you just bought collector roll or you don't have this roll at all then choose no tools obviously if you have only shovel then choose shovel and if you have all tools then choose all i will choose all then we go up and choose show all now why do we need it we need it to see if there are some collectible items that are super close to our road anyway like for example here you see we collecting the skin of swords tarot card and like wasting 10 additional seconds and getting random item with metal detector and there will be a lot of such locations we're gonna visit them anyway making few extra steps and getting additional collectible item even by simply selling all these additional items separately which is definitely not the best strategy you should rather try to collect the whole set and only then sell but anyway even this way i managed to increase amount of money made per hour by 10 dollars and it's bare minimum that you can expect but i repeat on average it takes 10 minutes longer and also it's good idea to do it only when there are regular payouts now before we move on to more time consuming but much more profitable grinding methods there are a few things that i need to mention you can start collecting tarot cards before purchasing collector roll and you will earn a lot of experience this way but you will be able to sell these collections to madame nazar only after you will purchase the roll for 15 gold bars sometimes you can buy it for only 10 gold bars because of discounts also when you grind in collector roll it really helps to know the map plus with each run you will be collecting everything faster and faster so don't worry if your first attempts will take much longer time than you expected and the most useful tool for collector roll is called wilderness camp you can buy it if you have naturalist roll so it's for higher levels but if you will purchase this pretty expensive pamphlet at fans you will be able to fast travel using your wilderness camp from pretty much everywhere and it will speed up the process of collecting stuff a lot now what to do when you have between one and a half and two hours to grind in red dead online i tested two strategies collecting all four sets of tarot cards and collecting two expensive sets of tarot cards plus family heirlooms and results were not impressive now what i found to be the most effective strategy when you have between one and a half and two hours is to choose all four tarot cards collections and the family heirlooms but be careful sometimes to pick up family heirlooms you will need tools so this strategy is not for complete beginners again i run multiple tests and on average it took 92 minutes to collect these five guaranteed sets and the profit was 877 dollars per hour however with double payouts it was impressive 1754 dollars per hour so it's definitely the best strategy when there are double payouts however when there are regular payouts i found another strategy to be more effective it takes on average 112 minutes but brings 1675 dollars with double payouts and impressive 947 dollars per hour without double payouts and again that's just a minimum number because i was selling additional items separately without waiting for a full set so basically the strategy is to collect all four tarot card sets plus family heirlooms and all other collectible items that you can find close to your route but i repeat you need to make sure that you have at least two hours of a free time and obviously if you have much more time than two hours to grind you can add other guaranteed sets like flowers or collectible alcohol but if you don't have much time i suggest you not to focus on them just because they're not expensive anyway guys according to my data these methods combined with moonshiner and trader roll are the best ways of making money in red dead online but if you are looking for ways to make some additional gold i suggest you to go and check the video that you can see on your screen now so i hope you enjoyed this video stay safe stay healthy goodbye